Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the simulate, simulation of op-amp slew rate in LT spice. So we are going to understand how you can simulate the effect of slew rate in LT spice. Okay, so slew rate is basically a very important parameter and you need to understand very thoroughly because if you if you haven't selected your op-amp with the proper slew rate, it is going to impact your output signal. So whatever signal you are uh, you are giving at input side, you might not be getting the same signal or the same signal at the output output side if you are using op-amp, let, let us say op-amp voltage follower. So this parameter is very important and if you don't select op-amp with the proper slew rate, it is going to change your output signal so that is why it is very important to understand the effect of slew rate what is slew rate and how you're gonna simulate the the effect of slew rate in the lt spice so if i go at here so let us say let us say uh, let us understand first what is the slew rate slew rate is nothing but if you, you can call it as a, a s and r uh, that is slew rate that is rate of change of output voltage with respect to time this is the pro definition so what you, i can call it as a as per my definition what is the slew rate so slew rate is the rate of change of output signal in response to the input signal so how your output signal is changing if you are changing your input signal how fast your output signal you can say in other word how fast your output signal is changing in response with your input signal and this is the slew rate okay so let us understand let us say if you have the input signal this is my input signal if you go and look at this is my input signal v in the amplitude of my input signal is 0 to 0 to 1 volt okay the amplitude of my input signal is 0 to 1 volt with the frequency of 83.3 kilohertz let's say 83.3 kilohertz are 83 kilohertz that's fine and uh, what is on time then the if you have the frequency of 83.3 kilohertz that means your on time is 6 microsecond your off time is 6 microsecond so you have the total time period if i can call it as a t t equals to 12 microsecond okay now let us say let us say i want to amplify this signal 0 to 1 volt signal with the frequency of 83.3 kilohertz how it looks like so ideally if ideally if you have the gain of 3 let us say i have the gain of 3 here if you if you look at, can look at it so the gain is 3 and uh, so output signal has to be from 0 to 3 volt with the same frequency of 83.83.3 kilohertz so you should get the amplified output signal with the same frequency okay you should get the ampli uh, amplified output signal with the same frequency so output has to be 0 to 3 volt and with the frequency of 83.3 kilohertz okay now let me go back in the simulation and let us see how it responds so if you look at now the same circuit i'm trying to simulate it my input signal is my input signal is uh, if you look at if I right click on V4 and if you look at here the the V on is 1 that means the input amplitude is 1 and the T on is 12 and T period T on is 6 microsecond and T period is 12 microsecond that means I have the on time is 6 microsecond so now if you look at this my input signal is connected to the plus terminal of an op amp that means non inverting terminal of an op amp that means I'm trying to design non-inverting amplifier. I'm trying to design the non-inverting amplifier and uh, the, uh, with the gain of 3. So my feedback component is R1. The value of R1 is 2K and the value of R2 is 1K. So if you calculate the gain of your non-inverting amplifier, that is nothing but 1 plus R1 divided by R2, that is 1 plus 2K divided by 1K. So you're going to get the gain of 3. And uh, I'm giving the supply voltage for this operational amplifier is 5 volt and the ground. 
So if I run the simulation now, if you look at here, I have already run the simulation and if you look at here, my input signal is 0 to 1 volt. You can clearly see. So let me change the color for of this signal. So this is now in red and this is uh, now in the blue. So now so that you can clearly see. Now if you look at my input signal is 1 volt. So input is 1 volt and with the frequency of 83.3 kilohertz. So I am using 6 microsecond is on time and the 6 microsecond is the off time. So if you now look at the output signal V out plus. So my output signal how it how it looks like. So my output signal if you look at it is having the proper amplified voltage so my voltage is 3 volt which ideally i should get because my input signal is 1 volt and what we saw here is if your input signal is 1 volt and the gain is 3 you gonna get the output is 0 to 3 3 volt so that's what i'm getting here i'm getting i am getting the voltage a uh, 3.3 volt and if you look at now the lower side i'm not not getting the 0 volt that means what does it means that your op operational amplifier is not properly turning on and off it is not responding uh, as per your input signal so what is the problem why your operational amplifier is not uh, responding with your uh, with the frequency of 83.3 kilohertz of your input signal it is not responding if because you have the now in at output you have rise time and only fall time and you don't see the proper you don't see the proper square wave form so i'm not getting the square wave form at output that means there is something wrong neither i am achieving the amplitude from 0 to 3.3 with the square wave so i am not getting the frequency my frequency and the shape of the signal got deteriorated now so what is the problem so let us understand what could be the problem and why i am not getting proper output so in order to understand this let us go back again on here now if you look at the slew rate of operational amplifier so the slew rate of lm741 is 0.5 volt per microsecond if you look at here in the data sheet so the slew rate of operational amplifier lm741 is 0.5 volt per microsecond so the my slew rate is 0.5 volt per microsecond what do you understand by this if the slew rate is a slew rate of operational amplifier that is lm741 is 0.5 volt per microsecond what do you understand by this so that means that so that means that your signal will rise how much signal will rise in one in the time span of one microsecond that is volt per microsecond so by this definition what we can understand is so at one microsecond your signal is going to be 0.5 volt at two microsecond your signal is going to be one volt and at four microsecond your signal is going to be two volt and at the 10 microsecond your signal is going to be five volt and at six microsecond your signal is going to three volt so so what you understand from this what is my input signal my input signal was my input signal was 0 to 3 0 to 1 volt but what is the frequency my frequency was uh, 83 kilohertz that means i had a 6 microsecond of on time and 6 microsecond of off time so but if you look at here 6 microsecond is on time and 6 microsecond is off time so now you have the input is 1 volt gain is 3 volt and with the gain of 3 you're gonna get the output is 3 volt okay so if you look at now this table here in order to reach 3 volt of output in order to reach 3 volt of output if you use this operational amplifier lm741 it will take 6 microsecond of time so it will take 6 microsecond to reach 3 volt okay so that means you cannot apply the frequency of 83 kilohertz you cannot apply 6 microsecond on time because if you have the square wave with 6 microsecond on time and this if you process that input signal 6 microsecond on time if you process this input signal so uh, let's look at one more time so if you process this 
83 kilohertz input signal with the op-amp LM741 and since the rise time of your operational amplifier since the rise time of your operational amplifier is in order to reach 3 volt it will take 6 microsecond so what does it means that your output signal has to be like this so it would go to your 6 microsecond here uh, how I can draw so that I'll get here now uh, so this time I'll start from let's say here that is fine now okay and uh, this is your 3 volt let us assume and this is your again 3 volt so this is your output so what what uh, what your op amp is doing that your input is 83 kilohertz that means 6 microsecond on time this is your 6 microsecond and this is your 6 microsecond so due to the slew rate due to the slew rate of op amp it is taking in order to reach the 3 volt of signal it is taking it is taking 6 microsecond so it is taking 6 microsecond that means you have got converted your square wave to your triangular wave so let's say this is your input signal and in order to reach the 3 volt output it is taking your 6 microsecond on time and then at the falling and so your square wave got converted to your square wave got converted to your triangular wave and that's what we can see at the output of lt spice that's what we can see we, we we are getting the output signal converted output signal with the uh, change in the wave shape our wave shape got changed from square wave to triangular wave so how how you gonna solve this problem this is very tricky to solve this problem so how you gonna solve it now let us say what i'm do assuming now i'm assuming the right six microsecond is the rise time of my signal so i want to calculate the frequency of my signal so what i'm doing is i'm considering that okay it will take 6 microsecond let's say to take to reach the 3 volt and that i should consider the rise time and if i say the rise time that is the small portion of your on time your pulse width how you can look at this is my rise time and then you have the pulse and this is your fall time so your rise time is nothing but your rise time is your small portion of your 6 microsecond is small portion of waveform and i want to calculate now this x value x value so what i am assuming here i assume that my rise time is 20 percent and my on time is now the stable time is x okay rise time is 6 microsecond and the stable time is x and why i am considering the rise time 20 percent let us say if you have the rise time of your 20 percent of your stable time that means whatever device you are using wherein you want to process this signal this output signal that devices can easily read read this signal so let us consider now 20 percent so x multiply by 20 percent of x is 6 microsecond and x multiply by 20 by 100 is now 6 microsecond so i want to calculate the value of x so 6 microsecond and 100 goes this side so 6 microsecond into 100 divided by 20 and you got 30 microsecond now you have on time is th including your rise time your on time is 30 microsecond so t on is 30 microsecond and t off is 30 microsecond so your total time is 60 microsecond and your frequency is going to be 16.3 kilohertz so let us assume 16 kilohertz now i'm going to make change in the lt spice so let us change it so what i'm gonna do here is let us say this is my 30 microsecond and uh, this is my 60 microsecond and let us say how the signal looks like now and in order to do that i have to run the simulation one more time so i'm gonna run the simulation one more time and if you look at now if you look at the output so now this time this is still this is around the zero volt you are getting now uh, it's not close to zero volt but you are getting now zero volt and you are getting the proper square wave signal it is still shifting you are getting the signal with the frequency with the amplitude of with the amplitude of three volt what i'm gonna do is let us say let us say i am going to increase further rise time 50 microsecond 
and here let's say the pulse width is 100 microsecond so let me run the simulation one more time and let's see how your signal looks like okay so i ran the simulation and now this time i'm getting zero volt here i'm getting one volt here and at output i'm getting how much it's 0 0.9 is strange and it's the three volt let us let us further reduce the signal this to let us reduce what i can call it let us say you have 100 microsecond on time and uh, your off time is 200 microsecond let's say 50 percent duty cycle let us say let us see the signal so if you look at the signal now it is not going to zero i'm not sure why it is not going to zero but you have the signal is now three volt let me do what i can do here is let's say your on time is one millisecond your off time is two millisecond and let us run the simulation let us have the simulation time is now 10 millisecond so let's see how it responds so let us look at your output now if you look at your output again is 3 volt so so what you understand from this i'm not sure why i'm getting 0 0.9 volt still i have to look at why why there is a problem uh, with this lm741 model maybe so that i'm not getting the 0 volt output it is 0 0.9 always but what you saw here is earlier when you had the frequency of 83.3 kilohertz what was your output you were getting the triangular wave because of your slew rate was affecting the output of your operational amplifier now what you are doing is you have changed this input frequency with 16 kilohertz and we saw that now your triangular wave got converted into your square wave that means your output is now in phase with your input signal then we change the frequency to one millisecond frequency to let's say a uh, two kilohertz so in that we also saw you saw your output signal is following with uh, input signal that means your output signal is in the same phase with your input signal with the increased amplitude so it is amplifying uh, so input is one volt and i'm getting 3 volt output so amplification is working now so that is how you can analyze how the slew rate of operational amplifier can affect the output of the signal how your slew rate affect the output of your operational amplifier so your slew rate can change the amplitude of your output signal and your slew rate can also change the wave shape of your output signal wave shape of your of your output signal so hope guys you have understood the concept of slew rate and how it is going to affect the output of your operational amplifier so while selecting the op amp it is very important to understand your input signal it is very important to understand the input signal and also understand if your input if your op op amp you have selected is fast enough to respond with your input signal otherwise you're gonna see that your wave shape is changing today's simulation what i was trying to show it show you here your wave shape got change your amplitude you are getting three volt you are getting the output amplified output your ashe uh, the amplitude is not changing but what you saw here is your frequency is changing your wave shape of your output signal is changing so be careful while selecting the op amp be careful about to look at this parameter which we call it as a slew rate and that defines the speed of an operational amplifier how fast your op amp respond in 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 with the change of your input signal so hope you understood this thank you so much for watching this and uh, see you in next video